Bonjour, salut, ça va mes amis, assalamu alaikum, namaste, oi te duvem, hola como estas, chicos and chicas, Mwah. what's up guys and welcome back to my channel, so I am back with another vlog, hello I just got out the shower as you probably can see and it is currently 1.23 a.m. in the morning and I need to pack. I'm just super excited. I'm not sure if I'm going to tell you. Should I tell you now where I'm going? Or I might have it in the title. Or I'm just going to say it because I'm going to three different countries. I need to think now. Yeah, yeah, yeah three. Maybe four. No, I think three. But uh, first destination that I'm going to is the UK. I'm going to London and I am so... So, so 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 excited because i never been to london and i always wanted to go everyone who been is saying that i would love it and all that so i'm finally going but i've been walking around with this here at home because my both my parents are crazy sick hold on i'm gonna show you <laughs> this is literally how i've been walking around because i don't want to get sick definitely now when i'm traveling oh it's getting hot with this one let's see if my hair is dry my hair gets dry pretty, pretty quick. No, you guys even can tell that it's not. Time to pack. Oh my God. And we got Kit Kat here. What you doing? Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to do my magic here. So one, two, three. So I'm finally done packing. It took a little while. But yeah, I'm just gonna close this up. That look who is hiding. <laughs> what are you doing? She trying to come in my suitcase, you guys. I'm trying to sneak in. <laughs> oh! on the train you guys on my way to the airport i didn't feel anything this morning because i was just super tired but it's a few stations left it's literally no one on the train but yeah i will see you guys when i'm at the airport i'm not even gonna lie i have butterflies on my stomach just because i'm going to a place that i never been to before but i'm always like this but i'm super excited as well and this is what i'm wearing i don't know what's going on with my hair it just lives its own life wearing some sweat pants just get off the train and right now i'm gonna switch to a bus that's gonna take me to the airport I went and bought some food, you guys, like a chicken salad and a smoothie. These prices are giving me anxiety. It is insane, the prices here, but I had to buy something. And I didn't want anything unhealthy, so I might enjoy this salad. I don't even know what it is inside. It looks healthy, though. But I'm going to eat this salad, and I'm going to enjoy it. My flight comes in, I think, like two hours, so I got some time to kill probably pick up my laptop and get some work done it is crazy quiet and empty where i'm sitting at but i like this it's peaceful I changed place real quick because it was way more comfortable to sit on these people are staring so much when i'm vlogging but I'm getting used to it though, so it's fine. The smoothie is really good. Gentlemen, welcome to London Gatwick Airport. So I am in London officially, you guys. I need to tell you guys what happened. This is insane. Things didn't really turn out the way I planned it to, but I'm gonna just 
make sure that I get a place to sleep at and then I'm gonna tell you guys the whole story of what happened but so far my first thoughts is that I love it, the vibe I could definitely see myself living here one day but even though some things happened but I will keep you guys updated on what's going on One eternity later. All right, you guys. So I can finally sit down here and tell you everything that's happened. I'm currently on the floor in the bathroom, but you get the best light in here or whatever. So that's the reason why. But I'm not in the place that I was going to be at in the first place. I had booked an Airbnb and everything. I thought it was fine. I was super excited. You guys have seen the previous clips in this video. I was just so happy to go to London, you know, for the first time. And now I'm here. Things did not turn out the way I thought they would at all. So I'm just trying to be short and tell you guys stuff like that what happened. So when I arrived in London, uh, the guy that I had booked an apartment from, he didn't send me the check-in information. If you book with Airbnb, you know that they always do that. So I was a little bit worried. I was literally on the train trying to contact him and say like, like I'm on my way to the station that I had planned to go to and I don't even know where to go from there. Like, where's the check-in information? Little did I know this guy is answering with something is wrong with the apartment you cannot stay there i'm sorry it's out of my hands you cannot stay there and mind you i had paid for everything like everything was fine money from my account was gone and i'm freaking out i'm like what you mean i can't stay there it's my first time in london mind you i've never been here before i don't know where i'm going to i don't know anything where i'm at so i was already you know butterflies in my stomach and then this happened this guy's saying sorry like there's a leak what i hear so much excuses and i'm sitting on the train I'm, i was about to panic so i'm texting him back saying you know my situation you already knew it so then he comes and send me different addresses it's getting more sketchy different addresses he said come to this address i was like first which address and he apologized sending the wrong one it was just messed up the whole thing but now i'm speeding it up because this took hours i'm telling you hours back and forth and the service was bad so anyway so i'm deciding to go to this address oh and i need to mention this guy only says that i can stay there for one night i'm staying in london for three nights i was like okay one night when am i doing the, the rest of the two nights he said i'm gonna try to figure something out i can't guarantee anything i'm gonna look and see and like I said, I was in a very desperate and vulnerable situation. So I was like, like, I got no choice. I need to go to this address that he sends me and stay there for a night just trying to figure things out. I'm finding an Uber. It was very hard to find an Uber, by the way. And I lost count how many Ubers I took yesterday. Seriously, it was just a lot. Anyways, I finally go into this address he sent me. It's dark outside. I guess it's been hours. So standing outside the door he's not there he said that he is there that he was gonna meet me there help me out this guy is nowhere to be found i'm texting him calling him he doesn't answer anything <sighs> okay i'm just i just cannot believe it at this point and i'm trying to be calm i'm keep texting and calling a thousand times a thousand times this guy doesn't pick up the phone and eventually i had this gut feeling the whole time something is sketchy this guy scammed me it was so disrespectful i still cannot believe it like i'm just mm. so i'm standing there outside in the dark it's a lot of people around like i'm just I don't know where I'm at. I've never been to London before, you guys. Well, but anyways, so there I am. I'm deciding to contact the Airbnb and they trying to help me out, but I just cannot get in contact with anyone. Like, people are just pushing me to talk to this person, this person. It was just a whole freaking mess. Hours goes by. Like I said, I took so many Airbnbs because to get a hotel and you know hotels airbnbs are cheaper that's why i stay at them and i get you know i get a whole apartment for myself and stuff and hotels are just 
expensive. I usually don't stay in hotels, but now I had no choice. Like, I can't sleep on the street in the middle of, like, I don't know where I'm at or nothing. I took Ubers to hotels. Every single one was booked that I went to. <laughs> Fully booked, no rooms. But people, uh, the last one I went to was so kind. They were fully booked, but they still got in the way of, you know, trying to find a place, this place that I'm at now. So I really appreciate that. But imagine my situation, you guys. Like, late at night, I had flown all day. I did not sleep the day before. So that means I've been up for two days, starving dizzy. I'm getting a migraine. I'm tired. I was, I couldn't think straight. It was crazy. At the moment, I'm just so grateful that nothing serious happened. I got a roof over my head. And it was definitely a lesson. Trust your gut feeling. When something doesn't really add up, something feels sketchy, like trust it. But yeah, I just had to share this situation with you guys. This is real life things that's happening. But I'm still, through all of this, I still love London. I love it so much. It's really nice. But I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here and start the next London vlog for you guys. Let's just forget about that whole thing. That was experience, all right? But I still hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. I love you guys. Mwah! Cheers! <laughs>